get people updated on what you're doing. I know after your professional career, you've been coaching uh, independently, yeah. doing a lot of that. Let people know what you're doing these days. Yeah, I actually, uh, I've been managing since uh, 2004. I, I, I did some player development stuff for the Tigers, and then I got on the indie ball side, and I think I've been doing that since 2007 or eight. And then uh, I'm now managing in the Atlantic League for the Sugarland Skeeters in Houston, Texas. Uh, as far as seeing what's going on here with this program, I'm sure they took you over and at least gave you a, a quick glance at what's going on across the street with that ballpark. I know a lot of memories, and Coach Ward was here earlier this season. I right. did the game on TV, and he talked about how he hates to see this place go. But those memories will never die. No, no. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, the one thing that Oklahoma State has always done is embrace the history. And he was the number eight overall pick in the 1985 Major League Baseball draft and became only the 15th player in history to debut in the major leagues without having played in the minors when he was in the lineup for the Texas Rangers on April 8, 1986. Cowboy fans, Pete and And um, I don't think anybody is going to forget about Alley P. Reynolds Stadium. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of great things happened here uh, throughout the years. And um, Josh took me over to see the new stadium, and uh, I'm speechless. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen a better college facil facility in the United States. I mean, it, it, and it's not even done yet. You know, it's just kind of a shell of itself, and the renderings are unbelievable. But uh, I'm looking forward to coming back and, and seeing what that new place looks like. I mean, it is uh, something special, without a doubt. Last thing, um, I don't know where you were when it happened yesterday, but when Tank delivers that grand slam to win that game, I can't think of a more appropriate baseball play to happen on a weekend when Pete and Cavillia returns. That's kind of Tank's way of honoring you, I thought. Uh, it was awesome. I was actually uh, in the dugout, and I was actually um, – probably about two feet behind Josh in the dugout and standing next to Rob. So without a doubt, that's Oklahoma State baseball at its finest. A, a grand salami in the bottom of the eighth, get three outs in the ninth, and put a W in a good guy's column. I've had one idea. They need to get a concrete, take a concrete and maybe metal, kind of like you would do for a memorial out there in the middle of Duck Street and just put a, a, a tribute to you out there that says, Pete hit a lot right here. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of great memories. I spoke to the team yesterday before the game, and Josh surprised me with a bunch of uh, at-bats that I had when I was here. You know, social media is a great thing now that I have, I mean, I've never seen. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I did a lot of damage on the other side of that fence over there on Duck Street. <laughs>